Hey everyone, Matt from soundrolling.com and I first have to show you my bus journey home uh, because currently it is 4.27 in the morning. Uh, at, at this couple, they're uh, not quite a couple, but we one... are not a couple. I know, we but, but want to be a couple. Give me a sec. Give me a second. Okay, uh, and they want to be a couple, or at least one of them wants to be a couple. <laughs> guess, guess, guess which one? <laughs> probably, Just probably this one. Use something to cover my face, please. <laughs> I, I will. I, I use one of those um, um, sad emojis. <laughs> and, and for you, I'll, I'll cover your face. No, use, use the I'll use cover that cat face. Cat face. Okay, this is cat face, uh, and this is. Um, do Do you want a happy emoji or sad emoji? Sad. Sad emoji. Because, Crying emoji. Because he like boys. Oh, okay. I'm so sad. <laughs> oh my. I'm so sad because he like boys. Yeah, so sad. Why he didn't like me? I know. Why? Do you understand times. me? No, I understand. I, I, I mean, the, the YouTube audience can't see you right now, so I, yeah, I'm kind of trying to portray your sadness. Amazing bus ride home, you must agree. And that went on for a lot longer than I was actually filming. So Taz Vlogs asks, I want to be a sound recordist. I've seen the Zoom F8 as a starter recorder. What's the difference between recording good sound on set and recording as well as mixing sound on set, such as a sound device's gear? People complain about the F8 not having real faders to mix with, but if it's just recording the cleanest take possible, does that matter? So, firstly, Taz Vlogs, thanks very much for the questions. Um, it's kind of a multi-parter, so I'm going to kind of just number these and just go through rough points just to try and keep this kind of, I guess, shorter and sweeter. Um, and if I haven't quite answered something, uh, do let me know in the comments as well. Number one. Uh, so, in regards to if you record the best take, does it matter? Uh, technically, it wouldn't. It would be, I mean, if the end result was exactly the same, then it wouldn't matter. Uh, but it's all about how you get there. Um, and there's lots more to just recording every single track. Um, now, I don't quite know what you're trying to go in for, but I'm going to guess uh, like a short film and you're going to be doing kind of corporate stuff. Uh, so we'll try and cover different environments. So, um, so for instance, mixing uh, for kind of corporate uh, in terms of like interviews or in terms of junkets, it's uh, just going to be essential because you're going to go into a camera and essentially your camera will be your recorder. Um, so even though you're recording on your F8 or any other mixer, um, it's you're never going to use it. And so you have to mix at the right levels, as in you have to combine the audio channels and fade in and out. Um, the different sources for the different people talking uh, to deliver one track that is kind of edited on site. Um, again, there are kind of fail safes because if you do mess up, they can go back to your recording tracks. Um, but you need to be able to just deliver um, kind of flawlessly um, mixed sound uh, so that they can save time editing. Um, in regards to a kind of short film scenario, especially since you say that you're a sound recordist or want to be a sound recordist, it's different to being a sound mixer, uh, mainly for the definition that usually a sound recordist would also be boom operating. So on a short film, if because there's some out there that are, uh, are so low budget that it, it's only kind of feasible for you to do it and to boom as well. Um, and in those scenarios, you, you pretty much are just kind of monitoring and just trying to record. You're trying to kind of, you're trying to mix as well to get a sense of the picture and what's going on. But it's going to be more about just recording and making sure that you've got all of those separate. Um, but that does mean uh, more work in post-production um, for lots of people, essentially, <laughs> because your, your mix track um, will literally be a guide track um, and again the guide track does a, a kind of injustice in a way um, to people's 
uh, mix tracks because a mix track, although it is a guide, um, it can be it can be really good. I'm kind of trailing off. It's really hard to answer. It's basically a massive, massive question, the difference between mixing and recording. Um, so it's more, again, about those kind of practical uses um, and the kind of greater philosophy of being able to understand what you've mixed before in terms of let's keep with the kind of film theme. If you've, if you've mixed a certain way for a wide and then you've mixed for a close or you, you've kind of done a rehearsal and you've been... Um, kind of mixing voices, so obviously they uh, try and get the kind of lowest noise floor and you find that something isn't quite sounding as good or could sound better in placement or you're trying to match uh, the kind of quality of the voice um, or the voices, then, I mean, yeah, this is why it's a, it's a massive can of worms. So I hope that kind of roughly covered um, a couple of the main main points. Again, it's, it's an absolutely massive open-ended question, to be honest, especially because I, I don't know what you're, what you're wanting to record. Um, but as, firstly, you'll be fine with the F8 as a kind of uh, recorder. Um, it, it doesn't matter if you get exactly the same results but that is not due down to having a recorder, that's due down to your miking technique. Um, so for instance, uh, my sound uh, might be better than yours, even though yours is recorded at the same level, recorded at the same sample rate. Um, mine can be better because my technique would be better um, if I miked it in a better place than you did. So that's why that uh, question of if it's a good, if it's good sound, does it matter? Essentially not, but it's, that's a completely separate thing uh, to the gear as well. Again, it's all about the kind of techniques um, and kind of experience of that. Um, as for just recording as opposed to mixing, um, not only are you just missing out on the technical in terms of being able to combine audio signals to different sources like director's headsets or cameras or uh, kind of another external source um, you're also not going to be able to, uh, you're also going to be able to, I forget how I started this, but you're not, you're not going to be able to give um, editors uh, kind of a clean track to work with the, that they can go on as kind of a mixed track, uh, which then in post sound becomes a guide track. Um, and I guess going on more to mixing, mixing is again, a bigger kind of, uh, I guess, philosophy, as it were, um, on capturing good, clean sound. It's about having that perception of being able to mix to picture. It's about having all those kind of intangible um, little nuggets of information in terms of how you've mic'd people, what the scene is happening now, how does that affect this, if they're picking something up, um, do I hide it? What's out of shots? Can I boom from here? I mean, there's so many, so many, so many uh, things to take into account that would make you a sound mixer. Um, although you have to do those as a sound recordist, as a sound mixer with a boom operator, you're going to have a much, much clearer, better sound from that. So I hope that kind of answers at least at least part of it. Um, so again, it's it's a kind of technical answer as well as kind of a, just a larger philosophy of um, it's different for like me at the moment. I'm just shooting um, on a DSLR, and it doesn't make me. And though I've put a light on, it doesn't make me a DP. For instance, this is probably a bad example, but it's yeah, it's it's the equivalent to me doing this and if the picture looks fine it looks probably fine to most people obviously for YouTube but it could be done uh, so many different ways and so many better ways and so many worse ways um, but the the final recording is all you're gonna have at the end of the day so again more about it's more about how you get there uh, the end result is just going to be the sum of everything uh, that you've kind of done before so the actual recording of it isn't a problem anymore because it's going to be 24 bit, it's going to be 48 um, kilohertz, um, and that will be the only distinguishing thing about it in terms of actually recording it. 
Um, the rest will all be about your uh, game stages and uh, being able to put everything together in your head. So I realize I've gone on for a very long time, but thank you very much again for the question. I hope this helped a lot of people outside. Again, uh, leave like comments below um, and I can try and go into a bit more detail with more specifics, um, I guess, for different people. Um, I'm now, God, it's like eight in the morning. So eight, nine, nine in the morning. I'm reading my watch wrong and everything. So, uh, I'll upload this later today and I've got to start mixing a short film again. Um, so that's going to be cool. So yeah, look out, I guess, for another video tomorrow. If this was useful or you find it good and informative, click the like or thumbs up button and uh, more people will be able to find it. If you want more daily content, uh, me kind of answering questions and kind of doing little uh, showcases, then uh, subscribe because the more people that can watch, uh, the more motivated, to be honest, I feel to do some, some stuff. Um, especially if you comment as well, because the more engaging we can make it, uh, essentially the more useful it will be for you. So, I've been Matt Price, and I will see you tomorrow.